how to fill out the oil analyzers oil analysis sample form. I'm officer oil when I'm not fighting crime, I'm fighting friction. So I took a sample the other day on my dirt bike. This is out of the, tr this is the transmission fluid here. It's the dirt bike transmission fluid. And what it is, it's the AMSOIL synthetic dirt bike transmission fluid and it's an 80 weight. And I pulled this out of my 2020 KTM 300 XCW dirt bike. And I wanna know what it looks like because this has 42 hours on this gear loop, on this transmission fluid. The book says to do it at 40. I got busy, I went to 42. And the only way to know for sure if it's still good is to take all the voodoo out of it and do an oil analysis report. It'll tell you exactly what, how the fluid looks compared to what it was when it was brand new. So it's going to tell me good, bad, or ugly, and I'm really curious. So this here, again, there's no, I'm not seeing any metal shavings in this. There are no metal shavings in this, nothing. There was just some clutch material, but it, it looked just fine. I mean, it had a little bit of color to it, but we can never judge an oil by its color. So... We got to know for sure and send in, send in the analysis. And if you're a nerd like me, I like to know because I want to see how far I can safely push things while also having the best performance and the protection. So I want to show you how to complete and fill out this oil analysis report because I know can, it can be a little confusing and a little intimidating. Uh, I was the first time I did it, but once you do one, it's really easy. And there are a ton of instructions in here on how to do this. Okay, so here's what you need. All right, so you're gonna get, we sell several different kits, but this is the KIT-02, that's the part number. All right, and I love this because it includes a prepaid UPS shipping label right on it. So that's included there in the price. But you rip this bag open, and in that, in this bag, you get the sample jar, you get the shipping label, you get some instructions here. This is a sample analysis form. You get the form itself, and I'm gonna go over what all these mean. The packaging to ship it back. And again, this is the oil that I was using just for reference here. So, very simple here. So. And if you ever have any questions with this, any questions at all, right here, just give us a call right up here. Just give Amsoil a call right there and they'll tell you and they can walk you right through this. Okay, so everything's right there. So, and they even put the directions also on the packaging as well that you're gonna be shipping back. So. Here it is, here's the form. I already started filling it out. So my company name, Officer Oil, my name, I'll fill in my address, there's my phone number, there's my email. Come down here to component ID, whatever you wanna call this thing. So it could be truck 42 or mower 16 or boat 12, you know, whatever, whatever you want to call it, but I'm calling this, it's the 2020 KTM 300 XCW TPI. And that is the component ID. If you watch the other video, you can see where I took the sample and I show you how to pull it from the bike. Um, I've done a couple samples on this bike and this will be, I believe my third sample. So secondary ID, that's a good place to put in the year and the engine size, so 2020, 300 cc's, so it's kind of a little repetitive there, but that's where if you put in tr a component ID and it was just truck 42, we'll then put the year of the truck and the engine size. So here under, here under component and fluid type, okay, so it's transmission manual. I could have also probably checked gear. It would have been tested the same, right, but Took the sample here on November 19th, so the other day, 42 hours. So make sure you check your unit of measure there, whether it's miles, kilometers, 
hours, days, months, years. So hours, 42 hours. So there's 180 hours on the unit or on the component, on the bike. So the fluid change. Now this is, this is something here. So yes, I changed the fluid, but I'm going to check no because if I check no, the report will tell me if I was still good for continued use. Now I know they're trying to fix, they're going to fix that and be adding because everybody wants to know, hey, was I still good? Could I have gone longer? Well, if I check yes here, it's going to say, it's going to not, it won't tell me if it was still good for continued use because we already changed it. So it's kind of irrelevant, but I know I changed it. So I'm going to check no. I check no. So I want to learn some more information about if it's still good. Filter doesn't apply. Okay. Didn't have to add any. This is if you add any oil to it. All right. And, oh, you know what? I did skip up here. Position um, doesn't apply on this. So, you know, front, this could be like front differential, rear differential. Maybe if there's two marine engines on a bigger boat, you know, left, right. Um, so, but that doesn't apply here. So no oil added the capacity. This is where you put in the miscellaneous. So this is very helpful to the, to the lab. So 0.85 quarts, and that is the total capacity on that. And, and then again, I just put in here for the lab to know that it is a two stroke dirt bike. So here, manufacturer, KTM, the model, it's an XCW, the product manufacturer, what we're testing, okay, is the Amsoil dirt bike transmission fluid. And so product manufacturer, Amsoil, the product and viscosity. So here on the back is your product code right there. Okay. And... And it's an 80 weight SAE 80 says it right on the front there. All right. So that's how you fill this out. And from here, you just got to package it up. So here on the other side are the stickers. So you fill both these out and has a QR code on it. All right. So this is what you're going to attach to the sample and make sure, please, please, please make sure you keep this for your records. If something happens, and they can't find your sample, we can track it. Um, this has happened too many times where folks are sending in samples, but they're not keeping this, and then they're not getting their results because it just, for whatever reason, gets lost in the shuffle. So make sure you keep that. So we take our sample here, all right? We attach this to the jar, okay? And just stick it right on the side like that. I'm using these gel pens. All right, so be careful of that. All right, so that's that's on there. Now, one little tip. All right, this is kind of a little pro tip. Take a piece of tape and tape up this. Crank it down, but just to be sure, put some tape on this. All right, any kind of tape, just so that this doesn't open up while in transit, while in route to the lab. All right, then again, we keep this. All right, rip this off, rip this off, grab our bag, throw our sample in the bag here. All right, put this in, sample in, boom, all right. Come back over here, grab our label right here. Put the label here. Keep this for your records. All right, so hang on to that. Take your label. Actually, I'm going to put it in so I can put it on flat. So I'm going to take it out. go stick this right on here okay put that on the label come back put in our sample put that in okay there's some double sticky tape here get the air out of it 
get the air out of it, and then we just peel off this. All right. Don't forget, oops, I almost forgot. Don't forget to stick in your, your report information or the form. Stick that in. All right, so that's in there. Then we seal this up. And that's it. So then all you have to do is just, you can run by the local UPS store. There's the drop off boxes all over the place. Or I know if you're, if, if, you know, your spouse does the shopping that, you know, most people do, or I don't know, she's just, she's just wild, but we're always, UPS is always at our doorstep. So you can just hand this to the driver. Really simple. Cause usually they're coming by most shops, most houses now all, you know, once, twice a day, probably. So just send that off. It goes out to the third party independent lab out in Indianapolis. So again, these, this lab, they test everyone's oil. They will test everyone's oil. One big important thing, AMS oil does not test our own oil. It's very important. We don't want anybody to think we're like fluffing the data or anything. So they'll test everybody's oil. So they know, they know what the oil looks like coming out of the bottle and then they compare it with what you have here in the sample. So send that off. Make sure again you keep your keep your records here, all right? And then I just usually stick stick this on here for the tracking label and then just put this on the side until I know they get it. So, how long does it take to get your report back? Well, it, it typically I know for me in Maryland, it's going to go out to Indianapolis. I typically get it back in about a week. They will email me a PDF copy of the report, and then you can log into Oil Analyzers and see. So that way, because I have several reports in there. Now, I also just realized, filling this out, I forgot to put in the darn, I forgot to write my darn account number at the top before sealing it up. But I'm not sweating it because I have my tracking numbers and everything here, so I can just give them, a, I'll just reach out to them, send them a message, and then when they get this sample, then I can tell them to link it to my account. So no big deal at all. And again, if you have any questions, just give them a call. Give me a call. I'm happy to help you. So if you'd like to start, to, this is a great tool, folks. So if you have a fleet of vehicles, a fleet of mowers, I mean, I'm testing a dirt bike here. But if you want to know how far you can safely push things, this is the way to do it. Again, takes all the voodoo out of it. And you're going to learn so much about your fleet where you can save a ton of time and money so that we can safely keep you out there longer, making money in the field, mowing grass, running trucks, digging ditches, running equipment, whatever it may be. And I pride myself, I'm probably the only person that's ever gonna try to talk you into buying less oil because with Amsoil, we have the tool to safely go longer. And if we can safely extend your intervals, then you're out there longer making money. You're reducing your carbon footprint. There's less oil waste, less downtime, um, you know, better equipment protection, and just all the above. Everybody wins with it. Um, so if you want to get your own kit, I'll put a link below. Have this, those kits. I'll put a link below. It'll autofill my referral number there, and you'll see it up in the corner as well. So it's very important. If you do move forward, plug in my referral number that's on the screen there, because that way it helps me get credit for the sale. This is what I do to support my family outside of police work, because when I'm not fighting crime, I'm fighting friction. And if you have a fleet and you'd like to get this or learn more about Amsoil for your fleet, click on those links below. We can get you wholesale pricing, drop ship right to your door. We also have a great program for repair shops, retail stores, and even DIYers with our preferred customer program. Or if you ever want to maybe upgrade and become a rep like me, become a dealer like me, I would be happy to coach and mentor you so that you can start making that extra money for your family while helping people at the same time. So if you've done oil analyzers, let me know. I'd like to hear from you. Um, maybe you're using another company, Blackstone, Caterpillar or something, but I'd like to kind of see, and I'm going to do, a, and of course I'm going to do a follow-up with this to show you what the results look like because I am super pumped to see was it was it good was it good was it doing its job was there any life left in it or did i go too far and maybe there's some contaminant in here that i just don't know about but thank you for watching 
please subscribe, please follow. And I love those comments, love those engagements. It, it really helps me boost the channel. But we'll see you next time. Officer Oil, prost!